Hello everyone, welcome back to Avneet Academy. Let's solve the problem on contract costing. Problem number two. Nivedita Limited furnishes the following information relating to the year 2006. Direct material issue, 3 lakh. Plant issued on 1st May 2006, 60,000. Wages paid for 11 months, 44,000. Administrative overhead, 12,000. Materials returned to store, 35,000. Materials costing rupees 6,000, sold for 7,000. Plant depreciation at 15% per annum. Retention money, 40,000. Contract price, 8 lakh. Cash received, 3 lakh 60,000. Work uncertified, 10,000. Supervisor salary paid for 51 weeks. Amount is 10,200. Materials at site on 31st December 2006, 12,000. Prepare contract account. So in this problem, they have given certain information. And on the basis of these information, we have to prepare the contract account. Let's start the solution. Heading contract account particulars rupees particulars rupees. So the first information is direct material issue. It is to be debited to direct material 3 lakh. Plant issued on 1st May 2006 60,000. So plant issued on 1st May it is to be debited. To plant 60,000. Wages paid for 11 months. Okay, wages paid for how many months? 11 months. This contract is about one year. In one year, 12 months are there. But the contractor has paid wages for 11 months only. It means that one month salary, one month wages is outstanding. That we have to find out. And that amount is to be added to this 44,000. So, we will calculate the outstanding salary. So, here is the note number 1. Calculation of outstanding wages for 1 month. So, for 11 month, wages is how much? 44,000. So, to get the 1 month wages, what we have to do? 44,000 divided by 11, we will get 4,000. Means per month, they will get 4,000 rupees as wages. And this one month wages is outstanding. It is to be added. Come to the solution part. Two wages, write in inner column, 44,000. Add outstanding. Just we calculated this 4,000. It is to be added. Now add these two figures 44,000 plus 4,000. The total is 48,000. Clear? Next item. Administrative overhead. It is to be debited to administrative overhead. Amount is 12,000. Next, material return to store. Material return to store, it is to be credited right on the credit side by material return to store. Amount is 35,000. Next, material costing rupees 6,000 sold for rupees 7,000. Okay, the value of actual value of material is 6,000 but it is sold for 7,000. So first we will take the selling entry. Buy material sold. So it is sold for 7,000. So buy material sold. The selling price is 7,000. So write in amount column. Buy material sold 7,000. Now compare these two amounts. Okay, the actual value of material is 6,000. 
but it is sold for 7000 means 1000 profit correct so actual value is 6000 but it is sold for 7000 means they gain the 1000 profit so any profit if they have gained profit means it is to be debited and if they have incurred any losses it is to be credited so in this transaction they have gained a profit and it is to be debited so right on the debit side to profit on sale of material amount is 1000 you have to write the difference amount 7000 minus 6000 1000 to profit on sale of material 1000 clear next plant depreciation at 15 percent so we have to calculate the depreciation on plant at 15 percent so this one we have to calculate depreciation so we'll prepare the note number two calculation of depreciation on plant so the value of plant is see the second entry plant issued on 1st may 2006 the value of plant is 60000 which we have recorded in the debit set what all of you this one so 60000 is the value of plant so depreciation 15% we have to calculate the 15% depreciation into 15% into 8 by 12. Why we have to take this 8 by 12? Because this plant is issued on 1st May. Okay. So this contract is for one year. That is, it starts from 1st January 2006 and it ends at 31st December 2006. Correct. One year contract. But this plant is issued on 1st May. Means this plant is not used for full one year. It is used for only 8 months. How 8 months? It is issued on 5th May till 31st December 2006. So count how many months you will get? 5th May. May, June, July, August, September. October, November, December. So, 8 months. Total, 8 months. So, this plant is used for 8 months only. So, we have to calculate the depreciation on this plant for 8 months. So, that's why 60,000 into 15% into 8 by 12. Got all of you? Why I have taken this 8 by 12? Because this plant is used for 8 months, not for 1 year. So, calculate it. 60,000 into 15% into 8 by 12. You will get 6,000. This is the depreciation amount. So, now come to the solution part. Write on the credit side. Buy plant. Write the amount in inner columns. The value of plant is 60,000. Less depreciation, depreciation amount, just we have calculated 6000. Less depreciation 6000. So from 60,000 minus 6000, you will get 54,000. Clear this point? Okay, let's move to next transaction. Retention money. Okay, this will take later. Contract with price. These three things we will see later. Retention money, contract price and cash issue. Works uncertified. So, work uncertified, where we will take this? Under work in progress. So, right. So, work uncertified they have given. But, we want work certified also. Work certified amount we have to calculate. So, for that we will prepare the note number 3. Note number 3. 
calculation of work certified. So how will get this work certified amount? In this problem, cash received amount they have given that is three lakh sixty thousand. To this amount, we have to add retention money, and we will get the work certified amount. See here, cash received three lakh sixty thousand. This one, add retention money, that is forty thousand. Add these two amount, and the total of these two is for four lakh. And this is work certified amount. Got all of you? So now we have got work certified and work uncertified amount. So let's move to solution part. By work in progress under this head, we will write work certified. The amount is four lakh. Just we have calculated four lakh. Work uncertified in the problem. That is ten thousand. Now add these two amount, four lakh plus ten lakh ten thousand, and the total is four lakh ten thousand. Clear this one? Next, supervise the salary paid fifty one weeks, and the amount is ten thousand two hundred. Okay. The supervisor salary is paid. Paid for how many weeks? Fifty-one. So in one year, how many weeks are there? Fifty-two. Correct. But the supervisor salary is paid for fifty-one weeks only. It means that the supervisor salary for one week is outstanding, and that one we have to calculate, and that amount we have to add to this ten thousand two hundred. So we'll calculate the outstanding supervisor salary. For that, see the note number four. Calculation of outstanding supervisor salary for one week. So the fifty-one week um, supervisor salary is ten thousand two hundred. To get the one week salary, what we have to do? Ten thousand two hundred divided by fifty one. Okay, ten thousand two hundred divided by fifty one. You will get two hundred. So this is the one week salary. So and this one we have to add. Come to the solution part. Two supervisor salary. Ten thousand two hundred. Add outstanding. Just we have calculated two hundred. Add that ten thousand two hundred plus two hundred, you will get ten thousand four hundred. Clear? And the last transaction, last thing, materials at site on thirty first December two thousand six. This is the closing material. Amount is twelve thousand. So closing, we have to take on the Credit side by material at site amount is twelve thousand. So now add this credit side thirty five thousand plus seven thousand plus fifty four thousand plus twelve thousand plus Four lakh ten thousand, and the total is five lakh eighteen thousand. Five lakh eighteen thousand. So this credit side is more. The balance of credit side is more. Five lakh eighteen thousand. Same we have to write on the debit side. Right here, five lakh eighteen thousand. From five lakh eighteen thousand minus Three lakh minus sixty thousand minus forty eight thousand minus twelve thousand minus one thousand minus ten thousand four hundred, and the balance you will get eighty six thousand six hundred. Got from five lakh eighteen thousand 
you have to minus all these figure and the balance you will get difference amount that is 86,600 that is called two notional profit carried down. This notional profit is brought down by notional profit brought down 86,000. So this notional profit what we have to do? It is to be distributed or transferred to profit and loss account and remaining to reserve. For that we have to calculate the note. So note number 5. Calculation of profit to be transferred to profit and loss account. Okay. So for that what we have to do? We have to see the contract price and work certified amount. Contract price is how much? 8 lakh and the work certified amount is 4 lakh. See the note number 3. We have calculated no that one. So for first condition is if the work completed is less than 1 4 then no amount is transferred to profit and loss account. So this one will not apply to this problem number 2. Second condition is if the work completed is one fourth or more but less than half then one third of notional profit is transferred to profit and loss account. So here work certified is 4 lakh. So it is not less than half of the contract price. So leave this second condition. Third is if the work completed is half or more than half in that cases, what we have to do? Two third of notional profit is transferred to profit and loss account. So contract price is eight lakh. Eight lakh into half, how much will get? Four lakh. So in this problem, third condition is applied because the work certified amount is half of the contract price. So this is the third condition. Formula is profit and loss amount. See the fifth note. Profit and loss account is equal to two third of notional profit into cash received divided by work certified. Two thirds, say we will write notional profit. So in this problem, we have got 86,600 notional profit. So right here, 86,600 into cash received. See the problem cash received amount is 3 lakh 60,000. We'll take here work certified amount is 4 lakh. Now calculate it 2 third into 86,600 into 3 lakh 60,000 divided by 4 lakh. You will get 51,960. This amount is transferred to profit and loss account. And remaining to reserve that is notional profit is how much 86,600 from that minus the amount transferred to profit and loss account that is 51,960 so from 86,600 minus 51,960 you will get 34,640 this amount is transferred to reserve Come to this contract account part. Write two profit and loss account. This amount 51,960 to reserve. Just we have calculated 34,640. And the total of these two is 86,600. And this side also same 86,600. So clear this contract account. Got this problem? So in my next video, we will solve one more problem on this contract costing. For more such videos, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you friends.